first you're going to need add-ins of your choice. I'm using sesame seed and flaxseed, but you can use whatever you want. Just make sure it is safe for hamsters. You're going to need a small bowl. A quarter teaspoon measuring spoon. and a half teaspoon measuring spoon. You're going to need some oatmeal, plain unflavored, and some water. Be sure your water is nice and hot and you're going to need half a tablespoon, or no, sorry, half a teaspoon of water. Be sure it's hot or boiling water. And you're going to put that in your bowl and now you're going to take a quarter teaspoon of your oatmeal and put that in the hot or boiling water. And now you're just going to mix that around. I ended up adding a little bit more oatmeal, but be sure you get a nice running consistency so it does not get stuck in your hamster's cheek pouches if they decide to pouch it. Be sure it's nothing like peanut butter. You want it fairly liquidy, like you can see here. Now you're going to take a pinch of your add-ins. I am doing a pinch of sesame seed and one pinch of flaxseed as well. You could also use fruits or vegetables. Of course, they have to be hamster safe or any other type of hamster safe seed. Or you could add a teeny bit of peanut butter in here if you would like, or maybe even a little bit of yogurt drop. and you're just going to mix that in and as you can see the oats are a lot firmer than they were earlier because the oats absorb the water so you want to make sure it's nice and runny in the beginning This is optional, but I'm taking a piece of strawberry and putting it on here. I only use strawberry because this is for my Syrian hamster, but this is optional. If you have a diabetic prone hamster, I would not suggest this. And now it's time for the taste test. 